We're group eight. We work with John Deere on cylinder head crack detection. Our objective is to design an experiment that ascertains digital crack detectability and capabilities in cast iron cylinder heads. For senior design, we are looking at surface cracks on used cylinder heads. We're doing this to foster remanufacturing in the industry, and we're using a monochrome camera and some other factors to look at these surface cracks. Lighting plays a big role in the resulting photo taking of the cracks, and we aim to optimize the light by reducing any glare and really highlight the crack. And to test this, we'll be trying several different angles around the crack, as well as different lighting amounts, in order to find the best detectability. So using the Techman robot, um, as you can see here, in order to hold that light, uh, Jesus actually went ahead and 3D printed a mount for the light um, that does connect to this Techman robot. And now using the Techman robot itself, as you can see, it goes around in 45 degree angles in different cardinal directions. That maintains the repeatability of our path uh, set um, when we are going through the experimental runs. Um, when, all those, uh, when the run is finished and we get all the pictures that we need, then that's when we're gonna go into digital image processing um, for our photos. We're gonna utilize digital image processing to help us bring out the cracks and do grayscaling and contrast. This will help us bring out the crack for the statistical analysis that we plan on doing and showing these pictures to experienced users and non-experienced users. Also, with the statistical analysis, it'll help us determine the success or not success of our project. Next, we move on to statistical evaluation. Three factors were considered, light angle, luminance, experience, and image processing types. We ran a five by two by two by three mixed model ANOVA. We also looked at type one and type two errors, with type one being a false negative, so the participants were saying that there was no crack when there was a crack, and type two being a false positive when the participants were saying that there was a crack when in fact there was no crack. The overall response rate was about 78%. This is a combination of experienced and non-experienced users, type one errors being 13%, and type two errors being 9%. Here you can see that experienced users had a higher detectability rate versus non-experienced users. And in our full factorial analysis, you can see the significance between the difference in groups. Here you can see the most significant factor was experience level. So there is a difference between experienced and non-experienced users. The lighting angle was the next significant difference. And the last significant difference that could start to trend but not quite there was ang lighting angle times processing type. This was all with an alpha level of 0.05. To further look at the significant differences, a 2-key SSD level response was utilized in jump. As you can see, zero degrees lighting angle, which is positioned directly above the cylinder head, gave the highest response rate. The total first year investment cost for this system is about $107,000 for the first year with about $80,000 of this coming from wage cost. So the tools being used are pretty cost effective. The current estimated remanufacturing cost is around $108 per unit. This was estimated using the factors below with the total cost per unit being $280 per unit Utilizing their total fallout rate of 13%, this is about $109,000 cost per year. Current gross sales is about $50 million annually, with the cost of remanufacturing being about 136% less versus making a new one. That's about $1.2 million per year savings, 60% less energy used when remanufacturing. And the cost of buying a new one versus a, a remanufacturing one is 40% less. And if a cylinder head makes it onto full assembly, the potential warranty claim is about $60,000 per unit. With how many full assemblies are being sold now, even if 1% of those units were warranty claimed, that's about $1.1 million per year loss, potential loss. We'd like to thank everybody that made our senior design possible, and we'd like to thank everybody for watching. Thank you.